Hello YouTube! Welcome to Fuku Channel Entertainment! Today we're unboxing GoPro Hero 9. This package arrived from Singapore this morning. Okay, first we have a paper. I thought this wasn't shipping information, but it was just white paper. We have first a rechargeable battery that comes with the whole set. GoPro batteries usually only last about an hour to an hour and a half, so this is a must-buy item. To our main GoPro Hero 9 Black, nice. This is the set with the case, and here's the SD card. I took it out of the plastic wrap, it looks really cool, nice. Here we have what's inside the GoPro itself, battery, screw, I think to place it on something, uh, USB, and the case. On the back we have the GoPro app added, and next is the specs. Yeah, the last GoPro I had was a uh, Session 5, it was small and really easy to use, but the specs weren't that good, so I'm glad I bought this new one. Let's open it. Okay, the case is actually not bad. You can just stick it in your bag and bring it anywhere. It's so hard opening it with one hand. <laughs> Alright, and here it is. Go for nine. So. Shoot, I don't want to test the lens. <laughs> Okay, so this is the GoPro itself. I can see myself <laughs> through the reflection. Very nice. We have the Q&A, the GoPro app ad, and a GoPro sticker and an easy how to use manual. Oh shoot, I was about to throw away the memory card. Like this box makes you feel like the battery is a little bit bigger, but in reality it's this small. Obviously it has to fit this GoPro, so. Alright, this is the whole set. I think this is a really good deal. Uh, if you buy the GoPro itself, it's like uh, $500, but uh, right now, it comes with a subscription, additional battery, and a 64 micro SD card with a case. So, I think it's a really good deal. Alright, let's go outside for a test run. Hi guys, I'm at Sakuragicho Station, but what the f*** is this? Oh my god, what did they build while I was not traveling due to COVID? It looks like a gondola, cabin, cable car. I'm not happy. I'm not happy, guys. This is outrageous. You could just walk the Kishamichi and enjoy the view, go through Landmark Tower, or use the Red Shoe Bus, but they had to build this. I'm angry, man. I'm never gonna ride this. I'm never, ever gonna ride.
exit is connected to the world orders on the second floor. That's actually pretty convenient. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and drop a like. Thanks for watching. See you next time.